I know you're all charming at the bit, ready to get to writing the story. But there's a couple of more things you need just before you get going. And the suggestion is that all the, the things before now, you want to make notes and have them pasted around you so that as you're writing, you can glance at them and it, they'll give you the information you need. The next thing to talk about is the plot and the subplot. You've heard the word a lot of times, you may not know what it all means. It's really simple. The plot is the action of the story. Okay, it's very simple. And the subplot is the theme of your story. Really good writers can intermix these plots and subplots and really great writers can have several subplots going on. You don't want to do that the first time. Stick with one plot and one thing. In the past, typical American movies are plot or action heavy. It's mostly about the action. And thin on the subplots or the themes of the films. In particular, action films. A French actress once said, American movies are about actions and European movies are about people. And that's, that, that is pretty much so. It's changing over time though. But that's how it was in the past. So first you have to decide what is going to be the action in your story. What happens? What things happen to take us from point A to B to C? What action is going to take us to those points? Next decide, once you figure the action, is what is the theme? What's the story about? What is the concept or the main point you want to talk about? What is it you want the world to realize, understand, enjoy, or know? What is your main point? Now, once you've figured out the action, which is your plot, your main point, and the theme, then you decide, what are my main character's feelings about the theme of the story? What do they feel about it? Are they for it, your main characters, or are they against it? So the action moves the theme. Or to say it another way, the plot moves the subplot.